In the canvas of dawn, a Ford Mustang GT awakens, its growl echoing in the quietude of morning. Behind its powerful presence, a Ducati Hypermotard is cradled, a spirited companion in this prelude to speed. And as the sun stretches its golden fingers across the horizon, a morning rendezvous with the racetrack awaits, where the Mustang's might and the Hypermotard's zeal harmonize, chasing the sunrise in a dance of steel and asphalt. Welcome back to another Shift Quick production. To the newcomers, you might have concerns about the physical demands of riding at the track, but trust me when I say this, riders of various fitness levels come and enjoy the track days. And if you have the misconception that track days are only for adrenaline junkies, you'll be happy to know most all events provide a controlled environment for skill development, and not to mention there's a sense of community among riders. Additionally, some of you new to track days might assume the experience is expensive, and while it can get costly, you can find budget-friendly options. You really don't need to go all out because most track days also rent gear that you might need. And if you're concerned about crashing with proper instruction and adherence to the safety guidelines, your risk is really minimized. Although that's not to say this possibility doesn't exist, so just calculate your risks accordingly. It's beneficial to approach the track day with an open mindset. You wanna focus on skill improvement and ultimately enjoying the experience. You won't be out there setting lap records. Neutral is not a gear. Rather, your primary focus should be personal improvement, you should be having fun, and not really focusing on competition. I upset the bike in the turns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see that. That's what I'm trying to correct. I don't know what it is. I don't know if I'm getting scared or, or what's happening. Well, you gotta be soft on, like, here's the deal. You're getting better, okay? Yeah. A lot of track days tend to be designed for riders with varying skill sets. That being said, there's also an emphasis on learning and, again, safety. Track days don't require advanced riding skills or a high-performance bike. And for the most part, there's not really a competitive atmosphere. And if you're thinking you need to be familiar with every technical aspect of your motorcycle, trust me, don't worry. Basic knowledge is often sufficient. And again, track days can be a valuable learning experience. Something cool, you can even run into pro racers at times. And if you're thinking you need to invest in expensive bike modifications, while some mods can enhance performance, just about all track days welcome stock motorcycles, i.e. the Hyper Motard is stock. You also don't need prior race experience. When transitioning from the street to the track for the day, it's easy to find guidance on techniques, um, especially specific to the environment. So embrace a willingness to learn and have a positive attitude will greatly enhance your overall track day experience. Now let's get on with the video. The riders meeting sets the tone for the day covering safety protocols, track rules, and essential information to ensure a smooth and enjoyable day on the circuit. Riders receive key reminders about flag signals, passing etiquette, and emergency procedures, fostering a collaborative and secure environment. Instructors might offer tips on improving riding skills and mastering the track layout. Ultimately, the riders meeting fosters a sense of community among riders, promoting mutual respect and awareness on the track. Not every track day provides you with the opportunity to walk the track but when they do, take advantage of it. Your race instructor will take you on a guided tour around the track, imparting insights into optimal race lines and cornering techniques. Your tire is this wide, so you could have a ribbon of asphalt six inches wide all the way around this racetrack. That's all you need. Along the way, he'll point out key markers and reference points. Having a reference point here is gonna allow you the confidence to go from 5% throttle as you're exiting the corner to full throttle right about here. They'll also explain the ideal exit and entry point for each turn, explaining proper body positioning and braking techniques with emphasis on smooth transitions and precision. The first thing you do before you go to the brakes is body position. Body before brakes every single time. Yeah. Why do we do that? Not to upset the bike. That's right. Brake pressure is always either increasing or decreasing. You're never really steady. So at this point, you're ramping up, and then from here to your apex, you're ramping down. 
As you follow the instructor's footsteps, you'll gain a deeper understanding of the track's nuances and uncover strategic approaches to navigate corners effectively. Taking advantage of this hands-on guidance can significantly enhance your on-track experience and it will empower you with the knowledge to tackle each corner with confidence and accuracy.